Hi there, I'm Dr. Cher, and I'm going to talk to you today about strategies one can look at for losing weight because we're just past the first day of spring. This is when people sometimes start to think about, okay, the layers are coming off. And particularly this spring, because we can actually now start getting out more, right? Things are starting to open up, hopefully, fingers crossed. So that means seeing people again, not sequestered at home in our stretchy yoga pants. Um, so this is on people's minds. Hmm, I want to lose weight. How shall I go about it? And I'm going to focus today just on a few, like, one of the main strategies a lot of people want to lose, they think it's going to help them to lose weight. But I'm going to just discuss a bit why it's not as effective as in the short term, but also long term strategy. Because when I'm talking about weight loss, I don't mean just hitting a number on the scale. I'm looking at the bigger picture, at least that when I'm working with my clients on the basis of the approach that I use. It's really moving people and generally it's people over 40 from this feeling of being very trapped you know, they've been trying to lose weight, they're stuck, they're not getting the results. Um, they're dedicating a lot of mental time and energy, trying to manage their food, manage their behaviors, and just feeling like they're kind of stuck. Like, is this gonna be their lifestyle, right? For the rest of their, their life now. But they're carrying some extra weight, they're all constantly gonna to have to worry about their food. Um, and so it's really moving from there. Ultimately, what they want is they wanna have, obviously, to have a body they feel good in. But they also want to have the really nailed down the routines, the habits. They've just got a really healthy lifestyle that doesn't take a lot of planning and prepping and thinking and decisions. Like they just, they've nailed it. They just know what they need to do. So they're eating well because they value their health and they want to maintain their health. And with that, you know, that means they've, they've got their body in a good place to support maintaining the weight. The mindset's in a good place to maintain their weight. And they've got the flexibility. They can relax, right? They can have indulgences. They can overdo it a bit. They know how to make corrections. So they found that sweet spot between being able to have a body they're comfortable in, they like, they, they, they can do all their activities that they want to do, and having a lifestyle that's healthy, allows them to maintain it with flexibility and choices. That's what they want. So if that's what you want, you want to get to that point, not just a number on the scale, because you can have ways you can lose weight that you may get to your goal, but you're still very trapped. You're trapped in lifestyle. You're having to micromanage your food. You're having to spend hours at the gym. It's still taking a lot of mental effort and, and time and energy to maintain. Well, that's not freedom. You're still trapped by this whole issue. So, and so with that in mind, assuming that's what ultimately you want, you know, that sounds appealing. You may think that sounds great. That's what I want. I think, I'm, I'll just start exercising more. That will get me there. So this is what I want to talk about with exercise. That exercise is very good for us. It's very healthy. But using it as a strategy to lose weight and a strategy to achieve this, what I call body freedom, it's not going to work. I'm going to tell you why. A couple of reasons. Number one, to lose weight using exercise, you if you're looking, using old school calorie in, calorie out type thing, you need to exercise a lot to be able to kind of get that deficit. And the challenge is, as you lose weight, you're moving more less mass because you're losing weight, and it starts to be less effective. I hear this from so many people that have come to me. They're like, "Well, I was I was doing it, and yeah, the first few weeks or month was great, and then it's kind of stopped." And they're like, "Okay, well, I'll cut back more on my food. I'll exercise more." And I mean, and the challenge is, there's only so much time, right? And people can only do so much, take so much time to work out. And so what they find is they can, you know, they don't have the time to dedicate to it to the same degree that maybe they think might give them results. But also as you exercise more, particularly over the age of 40, in certain ways as, as types of exercising, you increase the stress response. That's cortisol. That cortisol blocks fat breaks. Your body starts working against you. It's kind of like less is more in a funny way. It's different when we're younger and in our 20s. When you're over 40, you need to exercise differently. And that's why it's not as effective strategy for actually losing weight. And the other aspect when you think about exercise is that ultimately you need to have, the, it's multifaceted, the journey to get from losing weight to actually having body freedom. Body freedom, again, is mindset, it's lifestyle, it's all of it. And with the exercise, sometimes it can create a lifestyle where you're very trapped in that feeling like you have to exercise a lot 
you can't miss anything. And if you do, you start putting weight on or that you've got to keep with the personal trainer. And if you don't keep with the personal trainer, well, then what happens, right? Um, you're going to put weight on. That's not being empowered. That is not freedom. That's still being somewhat trapped or a slave to a method for losing weight versus getting through it so that you're empowered. You understand your body. You know how to eat. You've, you've mastered your mindset. You know how to be flexible. So to kind of achieve that, that's where exercise is, is a, it's limiting. It's not going to get you to that point. Exercise is great. It's healthy. I'm a huge proponent of it. It plays more of a significant role when it comes to helping you to maintain your weight, but using it as a strategy to lose your weight, not affected in terms of hitting your goals, but also creating this ultimate outcome of having freedom in your body. I personally had a direct experience with this. I, in my late 30s, I um, had another business and I had sold it and I decided to treat myself and I'd get a personal trainer and do intensive workout and it was a challenge at the gym kind of like a fitness competition. It was over three months. I got fantastic results, but oh my gosh, it was easily two hours a day at the gym. Yes, I had to watch my nutrition as well, but it was, but it was the time commitment and the personal trainer and all that. And it was great. I mean, I loved it. It was fun to do, um, but that's not a sustainable solution and a realistic solution in terms of time uh, to be able to, to lose the weight. A lot of people can't do that. The other thing was I was in my late thirties when I was in my late forties, early fifties, when I put my weight on, um, due to a variety of changes, I have my whole story on my website. I went back to doing some of this, right? I was doing the, the eating the, the, the low protein, sorry, the, the low carbs, watch when I was eating, got a personal trainer was in the gym and it was just not working it was it was crazy it was like and it, but it was different my body was different I was carrying the, the fat differently and so that strategy at that age didn't work also quite frankly I was finding working out like that I was feeling more tired I was feeling more hungry which was different when I was in my late 30s um, and time wise it just it was stressful trying to fit in the time at the gym, I just, it was really hard to do at that point in life and at that stage and whatnot, you know, in my career and everything with kids and elder care, I just couldn't do it. So it really just wasn't a, a sustainable solution to get me to my goal and as a lifestyle and actually health wise, it just was not working. So that's where you need to recognize, particularly when you're over 40, that using exercise as a strategy to lose weight. Um, and, and if that's it, it's, it won't be effective. You need to look at the bigger picture. What is ultimately you want? If you want to reach the stage of where you're not trapped, slave to the gym, slave to the trainer, um, and all that that encompasses, and you want to just be able to get to the point where, yes, you want to take care of yourself. Yes, exercise is part of your lifestyle. Eating well is part of your lifestyle. Down the road, then integrating these, as I call it, the body freedom method with the five principles is a way that will get you to that point. So I hope that helps you in terms of making up your mind, thinking, oh, maybe I should look at some other options. If you were thinking of, oh, I'll just hit the gym and start running and get a trainer and all that, it, you'll probably find you're just going to end up very frustrated. It'll be short-term solutions. And also, um, you're not going to actually hit this point. If that's what you want, this idea of freedom in your body, then um, you may want to look at some other options. Okay, so listen, take care, and I'll be back next week talking some more about other strategies that people like to use when trying to lose weight.